Hey, welcome back to Astrid Says. It's me, Akoru. It's me, Koru. Uh, we've only survived five days. This poor woman. This poor, poor woman. Now, I know I did notes. Yeah, Ravine, Coastal, DP. Oh, yeah, so we're well past the trailer and stuff. I don't exactly know where we are. Let's figure it out together. Uh, I have a whole lot of crappy food. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. Uh, I might risk this. I think I just recovered from food poisoning, didn't I? Can't remember. Anyway, how are you? Welcome back. Let's very quickly uh, take the HUD back to contextual. So I always forget to do that in between runs. And we are... Uh, we can sleep three miles. In a bed. I'm guessing we might be in the trailer at the top of Coastal. Or are we in the little cabin? Sure, might be the little cabin. My favourite little cabin. Yes, I think so. It's not sounding great outside. I'm assuming I've searched the cabin. Stop remover, who wants that anyway? Yeah, everything's open. Um, the sun is up, so technically I can do things. Do I need to repair anything? I don't have any leather. Eighty-five percent. I am wondering at what point I make new bed coverings. Let's do some crafting. Waiting out the blizzard. That's saying a lot because I love horses. Because she complained, let's give her some jerky. She's actually not hungry, really. We don't have a lot of water. Did I read that right? Oh no, I misread it. Uh, everything else is over 80, 85%. We could, yeah, we'll just carry on doing a bit more crafting, I think. These are only 15 minutes at a time. So not really progressing time on very quickly, but as soon as it's not blizzardy, I want to go. Do I need tinder? No. 17 coal. Oh, I didn't drop the guts or the hide. So what I might do is leave those here. Let's make a note. Call it the wee cabin, I'll know what I mean. I've got feathers. I think I was heading to potentially think about forging, but it doesn't look like I've got a hammer on me. So I think I was hoping to find one, but that seems like the logic here. I think I... How's my skill levels? I mean, if I was only I'm barely any days in, I've not got anything up to anything. Oh, I already have five starting three. Oh, okay. Oh, I might have started with that. I did. Okay. So let's make sure we drop our tinder. <laughs> Don't need it. Matches aren't amazing. But they could be a lot worse. I probably will base myself at Quonset, but I don't really want to carry around fresh guts um, in Coastal at the moment. So we can come back and get these. Uh, what else can we do? We got bandages? We don't. Okay. Let's, let's fix that problem. And then let's have a brief nap. See if the weather improves. Sometimes sleeping triggers weather changes. I don't know if that's actually real. But a lot of people say it. 
or it just, you know, timing wise naturally calms down, you know. Not sure I can carry much more. It's much better. Okay. I think it's calming right down. Oh my god, the creakiness of the cabin literally just got me. My 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 stomach just clenched. Some of the buildings make very unnecessary noises outside. Mm-hmm. You can't tell every time you moan, okay? Can't be that cold though, because the meter is not on screen. As I am with many things, I'm a creature of habit when it comes to coastal. I always come in to coastal the same way, go to the same trailer, the same cabin, and then I go down here and go from there. Roads, schmodes, where we're going, we don't need no roads. Generally fairly safe too, as an option. Um, nothing's gonna get me immediately. There's a wolf right there, but like there's no I'm not gonna like run face first into one and I'm not gonna run into the bear right here either. So yeah, I'm gonna go this side of coastal first and do a big loop around via the islands to the rest of it. Now I know I did say I was gonna base myself a quan set, so you'd think I'd go there first. To Ease my load, but you know. Hope nobody needs this anymore. It's yours now, Astrid. Pop the trunk. Pop the hood, rather. This little rock over there is called the tooth. Often has a Wolfie hanging around. I could base myself at the fishing village actually. But obviously the workbench there is outside. So it's slightly riskier. I do like basing myself there actually. But yeah, I don't love that risk, that extra risk. With the bear. You can eat a tree. Lots of deer for me to shoot when I get the ability to. It's a nice mag lensy day now. Now this is man-made, so I will wait for her to say something. Don't want that anyway. Sounds vaguely like the bear. Maybe not. I thought I heard a bit of huffing and puffing, but it might be in my own brain. Funny if I just missed him on the road. Oh, sorry. I don't know if that made much noise, but I did hit just hit the 
microphone mount. I should have uh, started spray painting buildings actually. I think I have spray paint. Um, because you want to know where you've checked and where you haven't in terms of the fact, you know, because you can't take anything. Oh, new jerky and I can't take it. Oh, she didn't say anything. What am I doing? Habits. Do you want the cloth? Now, cloth and curtains are, are free for all because I won't get cloth otherwise. Um, she never says anything with cloth, in my experience. I don't know if she says anything with like basic stuff like books either. But... Might try and kite a deer. Because otherwise I'm not going to get decent meal anytime soon. I will be true to my word and I will do this. It's interesting how she puts it away straight away, like just assuming that you don't want to spray another message. I think I can use this. I mean, I think I've just made a bunch of old man's beard. Yeah, so I won't carry two of them around. I won't even carry one of them around, actually. Not the worst thing they have in a base, though. I'll take one of them with me. And no, I don't have to wait for her to say anything the second time if I've dropped it. <laughs> just one, just one. Don't want to get too greedy with the curtains. I don't think she ever says anything for reclaimed wood. I have to feed her something more substantial. She's going to keep yapping. I don't have anything that I trust, though. I mean, the peaches are the closest. I think anything over 20% is like a, a, a very rare occurrence, but I've been stung so many freaking times. Oh, I didn't mean the book. I mean the um, kid. Quite often lately, it's like my brain's wired wrong at the moment. Quite often I'll hit escape when I mean to hit control. So she's crouching. I do this in Planet Crafter as well. So she's crouching. Um, or I'm using control to like collect items in Planet Crafter and then I hit escape. Yeah, I don't quite know why my brain is doing that at the moment. So yeah, if I pause the game, <laughs> it's not intentional most of the time. Must be quite a decent amount of cloth. Yeah, I have eight. Okay, I won't worry too much about taking them. So I can carry much more. Mm -hmm. Be cool if the uh hand hand coverings got um paint on them. A bunch of the community have been discussing over the years better uses for the spray paint, including like spray painting arrows. Like if you could spray paint the shafts of arrows. Oh, she's not said anything anyway. Um, then um, you could see them when you lose them in the snow a bit better. That kind of thing would be cool if you could use it to mark stuff a bit better. Yeah, I see you, bud. I don't know if this bear is, like, always, or, you know, more common than others. 
Um, because the misanthrope bear is extremely common. The one in the that comes down to the Quonset area seems to be extremely common. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Um, but I'm not sure if you. There's been a quite a few times lately where I haven't noticed this bear. If I don't have him on this map, on this run, I will most definitely base myself at the fishing village. Um, because I can uh, craft outside without worrying about being chomped on. Though also cold is a factor, of course. I will check the check the beach combing stuff on my way to the island as well. Don't need it anyway. Hmm. All right. This is a really good record for me of what I've searched and what I haven't. Right, let's see if we can uh, get the fish that's bound to be by this boat without being uh, the ice getting us. If we're quite fast with our drive-by pickups. Wow, big fish too. Okay, we're going to go immediately cook this. We cannot move. We are very stinky. We're going to get to this fishing hut and cook this immediately. Um, hopefully. <laughs> she's actually literally... She's... Uh, apologies, the mic got disconnected there for a second. She's correct for once. Uh, she literally cannot walk with this much gear. And we're going to get chomped on. If that wolf decides to come visit us. Surprise with the detection range. Um, sometimes it's quite far that they start making a beeline. Yeah, there you go. He's turned. And as soon as I drop the fish, he'll turn away and run away again. He won't be interested in me. nice not having any clear agenda right now it's just ideally um see if i go back out he doesn't oh my god <laughs> but yeah he doesn't care about me if i pick up the fish He doesn't care. Okay. <laughs> that was so funny that he was right outside. Oh my gosh. It's rancid, which means it's probably about 5%, but it will get up to... It'll get 50% extra. They're really, really high calorie fish. So that's a really good lucky bonus there. What I might actually do, just because... Um, The, um, it's going to take so long otherwise. Oh, I could have just done a mag lens. I think I have a mag lens. Oh, I don't actually. That's fine. Um, I'll do a second fire and then I can cook th all three at once. <laughs> Come on, little fire. That's funny. It should stay clear for a while, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I, I think I may have picked up a hook. No, I could potentially eventually make a hook and do some fishing, but 47, 51 and 23. Nice. I might drop 21% and the 28% fish. I just don't trust him.
And what I can do is do a quick little spray of food. And if this run happens to last long enough that she's got cooking level 5, then I know there's food that's been left here. Um, and... Um, I don't know how you remove... Yeah, you can... I remove searched. And just keep food and drink. And then I'll come back... I can come back here at a later date. And I'll know I can... You know, there's something here I can eat. Small but mighty little little pile of stuff. Fantastic. How's my water? Okay, might do a liter. I don't think I'm particularly cold right now, but we could drop our our big teas. Probably be uh, focusing on getting my cooking skill up ASAP. We're nearly at two. Oh, I may not have topped up the pot belly. Yep, just realised. <laughs> That's fine. So I've got an extra bonus fire. Oh, there's a little ramp here, see? Warming is paused. That's very interesting. So if you're in the middle of making water or cooking something and your fire goes out but you have a second fire, make sure you do the, the right click. Hey, well fed. The right click, left click, rather than picking it up into your inventory because then it will start the cooking process again. Um, whereas if you... Hey... If you, um, so for example, cooking paused, if I move it to this fire, it will continue where it left off rather than making you start from scratch. Torches. I make sure you know how many I have. I don't have enough. So yeah, that was a good move. I mean, in my opinion, there's never enough, so. <laughs> we are going to continue along to the island, uh, doing, getting that final trunk, beach climbing trunk sure as we go. Um, it's outside, not in a man-made place, so in theory I can get whatever's inside it, if there is even anything inside it, because it's local. How heavy am I now? 36, and I should be one stinky? Oh, it says I'm no stinky, but um, you've got a. If you're carrying meat of any kind, even if it's cooked, you've got to assume that you are stinky. Uh, just invisible stinky. The wolves still have higher detection, higher interest in you than they would do if you weren't carrying anything. Now, do I have a do I have a hacksaw? Do I have a tool of any kind? I do not. Okay, so we, we can't... We haven't moved towards saplings. We don't have a hammer yet. Okay, so hacksaw and hammer. Uh, I've heard about this happening. Oh, I thought it was time again for a second. No, it's a... It's a piece of ugly wood. I was going to say, I've heard about solo ptarmigans just randomly spawning in places they shouldn't be. But no, it's just a piece of wood. But it did, it did definitely look like one from further away. I want to hit this trunk, but there's a dead guy there too. What's that? cloth and what we got what we got what we got because I can have it oh a ski jacket I mean I already I can't remember a ski jacket it's a it's really windproofed it's better than the light shell for sure yeah there you go
usually a wolf around here. He might be on the other side of the rocks instead of here to annoy me. I love coastal. I think coastal is a great place to base yourself in. It's harder, a harder map to find your way in, in the uh, light PV, in fog, because once you're out on the ice and the fog sets in, you just have to pick a direction and walk or you will, you will get lost. So if you base yourself in coastal for a decent amount of time, I highly recommend collecting a bunch of rocks and making yourself some blizzard trails or uh, using spray paint to do that or sticks. Some people use um, their meat <laughs> or their, you know, like, because so, they can use the decoy button. Just drop, you know, you've got if you've got a lot of meat, you can drop it. And then if you want to eat anything, you just follow one of your blizzard trails and, and eat. Um, but yeah, I usually use the spray can. I've done stones before, but it's kind of annoying that you have to go into your inventory. Um, or I drop dead torches or another good one. Make yourself some trails to follow if it's really blizzard, uh, really either blizzardy or foggy. So that you can get between a fishing hut and Quonset and Quonset and jackrabbits or whatever you know what you want to do it's quite often a hatchet here on lower levels i just looked there for some reason i don't seem to be in any sort of trouble because she's not complaining apart from being heavy obviously right anything i'm allowed to take in here please please talk astrid please be chatty kathy today yeah, she won't be complaining about hunger for a while, which is awesome. I always give her... Awesome. I always give her all the meat I cook. Feed her completely full. Uh, I'd rather it be in... Not that one then. I'd rather it be in her belly than uh, her carrying it around. Just put my watch on charge. It also stops it from distracting me while I'm doing this. My watch is extremely needy. <laughs> and it's actually on cinema mode at the moment, which is meant to give you fewer notifications. It's meant to not light up unless you tap it. Looks like this has been here a while. Yeah. I went to the new Deadpool Wolverine movie with my husband yesterday. We had a blast. We played games together. I had a nap. We had brunch. It was such a nice day. I had French toast. He had like a big breakfast. He, uh, I didn't know until after, but he actually had breakfast with the children like he always does. And then had breakfast with me. <laughs> he must have been so full. And then um, he didn't have much lunch because he was just like, wow, is this house just empty? Like, apart from food? This stuff will come in handy. Uh, I already have a new one, so I'll probably just drop it. I think 30%, 30%, 62%, 1.2, 64%, 1.3. I think they're probably really similar in, in warmth. The ski jacket is lighter. So actually, yeah, I think I might just keep the ski jacket. Which one's more protective? Oh, they're the same. Yeah, this one slows me down less. Uh, the ski jacket slows me down less. So yeah, I think I'll just do that. I'm always slow. Now, she'll never say anything when you take water, so I consider water to be fair game as well. Nothing. All right. So yeah, just uh, just curtains and water are the only things I really take inside houses. Yeah, I don't care, Astrid. I think that torch might have been getting low anyway. I wonder if I should just chain it and not pick it up. Being lazy. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to get sticks on my way. I probably won't pick up more um, rose hips at the moment. I haven't been getting cold. I'm actually warming up. She's quite thirsty, but I haven't heard any lip smacks, but that may just be me not hearing it.
Sorry, bunny, I'm trying not to skew. you. <clears throat> Anything else to beachcomb other than a piece of unclaimed wood? Oh, hello. Wow, just what I need. One of each. It is really... <laughs> Genuinely had to just check then, because I was like, is it unclaimed or reclaimed wood? DH Dunn has ruined me. Um, it's definitely reclaimed wood, because you've reclaimed it from a piece of furniture, right? But he calls it unclaimed wood, to be funny, and that's now just what it is in my brain. You may have noticed I talk about Dunn a lot. He's one of my best friends. Um, obviously he plays TLD, makes a fantastic YouTube content for TLD, and uh, love him to bits. He's a fantastic human being. And if you don't follow him already, I'll put his link in the description. He is a lovely person and very funny, very entertaining, and a very good content creator of the Long Dark. What's that? That looks like a hide. That looks like a hide, guys. Oh, more fish. What I might do, though... Oh, it's not a hide, it's just a little ice shell. Oh, it's planks. Well, planks for nothing. I'm going to put this salmon in this fishing, well, outside this fishing hut. And spray this one with food so that I can come back to it later. Tell ya, people sleep on spray, spray paint. It is way more useful than anybody, like, seems to think it is. I'll take it. Yay. Oh, I want the cedar. I don't think she ever says anything for reclaimed wood. Oh, crappy anyway. Oh, torch about to go out. I've only got it for protection. I don't need it for warmth. It's just habit. Okay. I'll top her up because I don't like carrying a lot of fish around. I've got five liters of water. That really did look like a hide from far away. I was excited. I was like, oh my god, there's a hide washed up. Yeah, so I think I will aim to base it Quonset. I'll have to go loop back around and get that stuff from the wee, the wee hut when, uh, in a few days. Hi, Bun Bun. Sorry. Not trying to scare you. Hello, sir. Nothing. Don't even see feathers. Probably are some, but can't see. Alright, up the next island. You better follow my route around coastal by the uh, all the torches. Can't see anything exciting on this side to beach comb. Be really nice to find some actual gloves at some point. Listen, tropes. Let's go right around the outside. Do trailer park boys go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Mainly because of Voyager runs where you can get good stuff, but also there's usually wood here. Oh my gosh, she said something anyway, but I was going to say I'm going to take it regardless because we're outside, but um, it's funny that she said something. Oh, no one cares, Hester. Do I have a lantern? I don't. I was going to say I could just search with the lantern, but that's okay. I will get more torches soon. I picked up that book without thinking. Please drop a book. A book. Am I blind? Is it a firewood? Yes. Uh, should I let my torch go out? I haven't got enough torches to keep chaining them. So yeah, I think I will. I think I can use this. 
I actually don't want it. <laughs> Thanks, though. Boo. Pretty sure ketchup chips are always safe, too, so it's annoying. Oh, I want the coffee, Astrid, not the dog food. New peaches, Astrid. So beach combing is actually makes uh, this uh, like waterfront locations are actually a really good idea for Astrid says, because I can always pick up what's outside. It's extremely useful. Did that book drop open because I picked it up off it? Open off the table? That's interesting. Boo, I can't take it. <laughs> I did it with by habit, but I can't take it. Alright. Hope for gloves, everybody. Surprised people have taken all their clothes when they've fled, but There's nothing to take. Don't need more water right now. Well, I'll take a curtain. It's bedtime, so what I might do is give her a sleep here and get the save. And I'll just uh, make a note that we are going to onset and town houses make onset a base uh, block to look out uh, oh I haven't been to the uh, trailer what's it called uh, log sort uh DP. I mean I won't do all of that next time. Next time <laughs> Well thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Um I'm gonna give Astrid hopefully a big sleep. Only six hours, boom. Uh, I'm gonna give her a six hour sleep and we'll pick up the rest of the sleep next time. Uh thank you for hanging out with me. Uh please like, comment, and subscribe so people can find me and I'll see you next time with some more adventures on Great Bear. I appreciate you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.